क्लास फाइव एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट वन लेसन नंबर एटीन द एनवायरमेंट एंड एस पार्ट थ्री सो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द डिफॉरेस्ट्रेशन पॉल्यूशन राइट एंड ऑल्सो द वेरियस नीड्स टू मेंटेन इन अ एनवायरमेंटल बैलेंस नाउ लेट्स सी फॉरवर्ड नाउ यू आर गिविंग द इफेक्ट्स टू मेंटेन बायोडाइवर्सिटी here are the three main biodiversities given to be explained first is biodiversity parks an area which is reserved for the purpose of protecting and conserving the biodiversity of a region is called a biodiversity park now biodiversity parks are the huge parks okay there we cannot visit every day that biodiversity parks are very lengthy it goes very high and high for this purpose all protecting and conserving the biodiversity in this all region it comes into the biodiversity park in this parks biodiversity is both preserved and situated people visiting a such park enjoy being close to nature this leads to more concern for nature as i told in this biodiversity park we cannot visit every day right so the people who visit in such park is being very close to the nature they enjoy this park visiting once at the time so this leads to the more concern for the nature it all belongs to our nature in a biodiversity park now here is the picture of the biodiversity park you can go through second comes the national parks now we have heard more about our national parks right now this one national park is also situated in borivli if you all can you all can visit it later okay some areas which are important for the protection and conservation of wildlife are reserved for them for example the kaziranga national park the tadoba national park so these are the national parks mostly situated and the conserved with the wildlife okay now when you'll go uh, at the national park which is at borivli there you'll cannot see the big big wildlife animals you'll can see monkeys okay uh, various small small animals you'll can see there but when you'll visit this kaziranga national park and tadoba national park you'll can see the big big animals such as lions tiger okay one uh, national park is also in gujarat where you all can see the lion tiger deer okay so these all conserves into the national parks now next comes sanctuaries certain forest areas are reserved for the protection and conservation reserved area is called a sanctuary for example the radhanagari sanctuary for bison now sanctuaries certain forest have been reserved for the protection and conservation okay there are big big sanctuaries where big big animals have been stored such as zebra okay big big uh, tigers lions elephant okay yak this all types of animals you all can see in the sanctuaries where there are reserved area these animals cannot stay around us right they are very dangerous for us so therefore they have been situated in a certain sanctuary now here one sanctuary has been mentioned that is radhanagari sanctuary for bison see here is the picture of radhanagari sanctuary if the plants on the earth are destroyed the numbers of animals also fall that is why it is necessary to protect plants in forest if deforestation is stopped and instead tree pre plantation is stepped up animals that depend on plants will get protection and thrive in earlier uh, part we have seen about the deforestation okay in that what we have seen that not to cut the trees and plants now here some animals they are dependent on the plants if this all forest has been destroyed what will happen will they leave will animals leave no so we shall all stop this what they to destroy the number of plants as for this you all must plant the trees but not cut the trees because this all animals they live in the forest and they are must belong to the forest so we should always avoid cutting trees that is deforestation 
Now next. Mayani Lake has formed due to a dam built on the Chand River in Satara district. Flamingos from the Siberia region in Northern Asia migrate to this lake. Here they build nests and lay eggs. Once the baby bird grows big enough, they return with them to Siberia. Now there is one lake. Mayani Lake, I will show the picture later. This Mayani Lake is been formed from the dam. Okay. And this is built on the Chand River which is located in Satara. Now this flamingos. Okay. So here is the picture of the flamingos. You can see. Now this flamingos from the Siberia region. These are flamingos. They stay in Siberia region in the northern Asia which migrates to the lake. Okay, here they build their nest and also lay their eggs. Where? In the Siberia region. Once their baby bird, when they give to a birth to a baby, once it grow enough big, they return to their own Siberia. That is in Northern America or sorry, Northern Asia migrate to this lake. Now in the recent past, as the water level in the dam has fallen, the flamingos had stopped coming. However, the lake has now been declared a sanctuary for the bird. Also, uh, here the small information is given about this flamingos. However, the lake has been declared a sanctuary for this bird that is flamingo. Now here, I will give you all the small introduction about the certain birds. Now this maldok, it is a great Indian bustard sanctuary at Nanaj in Solapur district. This huge petty bird are famous for this graceful gait. These birds live in the open grassland. They feed on insects. Now here is one bird which you can see. Okay, this is a bird. It, it is a great Indian bustard. It is a male bird. Okay, so it is in sanctuary at Nanaj in Solapur district. It is very heavy bird. Means weighty bird and famous for the grateful, graceful gait. These birds live in an open grass and it's feeded on the insects. Means this bird is dependent on the insects. About 50 km from Pune, on the Pune Ahmednagar Highway, the village of Morachi Chinsoli is famous for its peacock population. The old, well looked after tamarind trees have you have created a favorable environment for the birds. Peafowl had found sanctuary in this village. Now, in Pune, there is an Ahmednagar Highway which goes through Pune. And also there is one village. That village is of Morachi Chinsoli is famous for the peacock population. Mostly we cannot say this peacocks in Maharashtra, right? So, these are the old well-looked on the tamarind trees. These peacocks they mostly stay on the tamarind trees where they have created a favorable environment. Okay, so these birds that is a peacock bird is mostly stayed on the tamarind tree. Now many people that is the female part of the peacock of the male they have been found in the sanctuaries in the village where it is in Morachi Chinsoli which is situated in Pune due to the Ahmednagar Highway. Also, you can see these peacocks mostly in the Kolapur. Now next, Devra is a boon for all living creatures. Indian cultures give importance to the protection of forest. The Devrai is an example. People believe that a Devrai is really a jungle pres reserved for good. No trees or plants in the Devrai is ever cut. That is why all trees in Devrai are safe even today. Now Devrai, it is one boon of living creatures where mostly these trees, plants have not been cut. Okay, so when there is an Indian culture give the importance to protect the forest. So this Devrai, it is most populated where trees have been not cut. It gives the example of to the people to believe that Devrai is a real jungle. Okay, there is a place Devrai okay so this is a picture of Devrai where you all cannot see one of the tree is not been cut down so it gives the example that it is a jungle 
okay reserved for the god no trees no plants in devrai is ever cut this is why all trees in devrai are safe even today now maharashtra has many devrais in madhya pradesh they are also known as shravan Devrais give shelter not only to the plants but also to the animals that live there. Hence, devrais can be called the sanctuaries of the ancient times. So, this devrai it gives us a very good example that not to cut trees, okay, and also uh, not to harm the animals, okay. It takes the both the conditions. It looks onto the both the conditions for the plants and also as well as for the animals. Okay, so this is what we have seen in this lesson number eighteen. That is about our environment and about our life. That is us. Just go through, read the lesson once. Thank you.